everybody, Steph here and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little Primark haul because recently, well since Christmas, every time I've been in, which hasn't been that many times, um, I seem to have bought things so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of some of the things I've picked up. Um, I probably haven't got everything because I seem to be surrounded by Primark bags that need to go in the recycling bin. But I thought I'd show you some of the bits I got. Since my back's been bad, my feet have been constantly cold, so I've invested in lots of fluffy socks. Um, I've just literally just knocked this out of my sock drawer. Um, most of them came in, I think they did, they came in packs of two. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're in the right order of what they came in. These were about £2.50 a pack, um, but they're really good for me to wear in bed because they don't cut your circulation off and they keep your feet nice and toasty. Um, I then picked up this Gryffindor bag for life. Um, I think I got this, I've had this quite a while now but I just thought I'd quickly show it to you. Um, I really like these sort of material bags from Primark. Um, I've had quite a few of them. I need to stop buying them and actually just take them out shopping with me. Um, so I've got that. The next thing I bought is something that everybody in the world seems to have at the moment. And it's one of these notice boards. And this is just plastic. This is like a coppery plastic with a black plastic. And it's got a backing board with a hook. Um, <coughs> No, I haven't got a jazzy message for you all because this is how it comes and all my plastic letters are still attached so I need to sort that out um, I wanted to do that before I did the video but I thought I've got some time let's show you other bits and pieces um, I've bought quite a few different pairs of socks recently but these are the only ones that I could find that are still in the pack and this is the Harry Potter trainer socks. They're called shoe liners but they're definitely more trainer socky. Um, and this is one pair per house. So you've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, I don't know why I need to look who yellow was, and your Ravenclaw ones. And they were £2.50. <coughs> And then the next few things are all for something later on in the year, but I've been just buying bits for quite a few weeks now. I think I did a blog post on this, um, but I was looking on Etsy and there was time to necklaces, but they were like 18, 19 pounds. This was about either three or four. Um, and I do like it because it does, it does turn. Like all three bits of it turn. So that's very cute. Then I bought a magic wand, which is also a pen. You know me, I love pens. I should put all this Harry Potter stuff in this bag. That's not why I bought the bag. <coughs> um, I also got a pair of Harry Potter glasses, which I won't be able to wear because I've got these ones on, but they might be fun for some pictures. And that came with a little bag, which doubles up as a glasses cleaner. I then got a set of festival bands, which I think were 150, and you get two of those. You may be able to tell which house I'm in from these. So you get an order of the Phoenix one and just a plain old Gryffindor one. And the last thing is something that I love um, and I've always wanted, I always seem to buy, is the pin badges. So there's six pin badges for £3. So some I won't use like the really big Gryffindor one but like the lightning bolt and the little HP one will be cute on my denim jacket. Then 
these are five off hangers. Um, I bought a cardigan in the sale for seven pounds. I've been looking at this since they got them in. It's a nice chunky knit one. And it's got embroidery on the back. These were fifteen pounds full price, and I was looking at them on and off, and they got them in grey as well. And I keep seeing everybody seems to have this, um, and as much as I'm not really that bothered about that, um, I decided against it. But when it went in the sale for seven, I was like, joining that club. If you've been following me on social media, my blog recently, you will know that I am getting my Disney on. Um, and I saw this on one of the Disney groups on Facebook um, and in my local primary they had them so I grabbed it and that was £8. I also finally gave in the chip mania and bought a little coin purse, this was reduced to £2. He's tiny but he is adorable and then I've been looking at this for weeks and I've got so many makeup bags. If my cat kids and hauls gone up, you will see I do not need anything more makeup bag like got my bae, Marie. I gave in and bought it. Hi and welcome to a randomly inserted clip. Um, I missed one thing out of that video, so I'm gonna stick it in here, wherever that may be. Um, and I got some Mickey Mouse on a wire light. These were three pounds, and I just thought they were so, so, so cute. Um, so I just wanted to quickly, quickly show you them. Um, normal service will now be resumed, and you might ever know the difference. I knew there was something else. Um, I also got a <laughs> stitch sweatshirt. This is quite a thin one, but it's really soft. Um, <clears throat> and I, this was £10. And I went to buy this about three times and I got in as far as the queue. And I was like, I don't need it. Um, finally, after payday, I decided to get it. And they, didn't, they only had small sizes. And then the other day when I went in they finally had my size again so I bought for, for a tenner. If you look at Disney clothes in the Disney shop they're really expensive so for £10 for Primark um, I'm really happy and this is not so kind of screaming Disney whereas Mini does maybe? I don't know. Um, I love it so I just wanted to kind of show you what I've bought recently from Primark. Have you had any bargains recently? What kind of things do you buy from Primark? Let me know and I will see you next time.